nasty off. Wake up. Whew. Honey, wake up. Hmm. What? what? Can you buy it for me, please? Okay. okay. Stop. I got it. Nastya, look! Yes, yes, we'll come soon. Okay. Oh, check, check. Ah, we need a strawberry. Aha, let's, let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> Look, this is strawberry. Yeah. Wow. Need to wash. Ah. 
Hello. Today, we're going to do a test. Take a pen. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, no. <gasps> Oops. Martin, can you get me some paper, please? No, it's only for me. <gasps> okay, time is up. Mmm, good job. Bad job, bad job. <laughs> Math lesson. Hmm, who will go to the board? Nastya. Teacher, look at her hand. Huh, show me your hand. This is unacceptable. It's time for lunch. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. I have a party on Sunday. Can I go to the party? Huh? Mm -hmm. Will you go to my party? Oh, yeah, I'll be there. What happened? The kids at school don't want to be friends with me. How do you behave there? Hmm, like this. <laughs> hmm? No, no, no. You have to be more friendly. Okay, I'll try. Mm hmm. Good morning, Nastya. Good morning. Hello, guys. Nastya, go to the board. <gasps> hey, Nastya. Good job! Thank you! Don't worry, I'll help you. Thank you! Nastya, this is for you. Thank you! Guys, I think Martin is a good friend. I'm gonna invite Martin to my party. Martin! Oh, thank you. I'll be there. Let's be friends? Yes, of course. Next video. Daddy, I want to be a champion too. Nice. Okay, what kind of sport do you want to choose? Basketball, tennis, chess?
Do you want to try baseball? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Let's play football. Yeah. Huh? What about winter sports? Good idea! Figure skating? Yeah, let's go! Let's go! We need protection! Whoa. Don't forget to wear a helmet! Let's learn about it. Curling is a team sports game on ice. The purpose is to hit a target painted on ice with a special stone and knock out the opponent's stones from there. Nastya is trying to play curling. Nastya, look, do it like this. Don't give up. Losing is a very important part. It's not bad to lose. It's worse not to learn. All these champions once lost. Then I will continue training. I choose figure skating. to wash it first. Blah, there's no need. Uh -oh. oh, it hurts. <gasps> Call a doctor now. Oh. Hello, sit down please. What seems to be the problem? My tummy hurts. I see, I see. Lie down, please. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Just like I thought, you didn't wash the food before eating. You need a surgery right now. Let's begin.
There you go. Uh -oh. The stomach. We need to wash it. Oh no! Ready? <gasps> I'm healthy! Hooray! <gasps> this is your stomach and this is your large intestine. This is our heart. The brain. You're brave. This is for you. And the microscope too. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Are you biting your nails? Me? No, 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 I'm not. Never bite your nails. Otherwise you'll have to stay at the hospital. Right here. <gasps> I won't bite them anymore. I promise. Check out the bacteria on our hands. Mm -hmm. All clean. All clean. Let's check them now. Let me see. And so? All clean. You should always wash your wash hands. Your hands. Next Las Vegas is the world's entertainment and recreation center. And there are a lot of famous shows. Animal shows, incredible shows on water, acrobats from Canada's legendary Cirque du Soleil. In Las Vegas, there are a lot of cool places. to be mining for gold. And something that's more interesting. One of the most famous abandoned gold mines is located in El Dorado Canyon. <laughs> well, kids, would you like some ice cream? Oh my god, what is this? This plane is part of the props left over from filming of 3,000 Miles to Graceland starring Kevin Costner. 
And now, the kids have to go down into a real gold mine, where someone once managed to find the coveted pieces of gold. Let's explore. Maybe we can find something, too. Gold! <laughs> this special installation is a prime example of what happened to miners when they didn't follow safety rules. And now it's time to go outside and see another wonder of this area. There are very dangerous cactuses. Don't touch it. No, no, no! It's very dangerous to step on the cactus. These cacti are what many people call jumping cacti. They are very dangerous. Look at the consequences of encountering them. <laughs> After returning to town, we decided to visit another very interesting Venetian hotel and take a gondola ride like you can do in Venice itself. See you. Nastya. Come here. Okay. Hi. Sorry, Evelyn, but I need to sit here. Oh. Evelyn, why are you so sad? A lot of people don't want to play with me, and I don't know why. I didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> I think I know why. Can I come over after school? Yes. Evelyn's house. Hi, Evelyn. Huh? Oh, no! Hi, Nastya. Why do you not clean your room? I don't know, but I know how. Great, let's do it. Toothbrush? Evelyn, come here. Do you use your toothbrush? No, I brush my teeth like this. That's why you have an unpleasant smell in your mouth. Evelyn, people don't like unpleasant smells. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth every day now. Okay. Teacher! Uh-oh! Hi. Hi, Evelyn! Hi! Do you want to sit together? Hmm. What happened with your clothes? I don't know. My clothes are fine. Can I come to your house after school? Yes! Evelyn's house. Wardrobe? Of course. Come here. It's right over here. You need to be more careful with your clothes. Oh. <gasps> oh, my clothes aren't clean. That's okay. I'll wash them. Use a hanger. Thank you.
Hi. Your clothes are so beautiful and clean. Thanks. But do you have a hairbrush? No. I brush my hair like this. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to your house today. Evelyn's house. Hi, Evelyn. Do you need a hairbrush? Hmm? Okay. You look pretty today. Guys, take care of your body, take care of your clothes, and take care of yourself. And always help others who are in need. Next video. Daddy, can I have a sleepover with my friends tonight? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Yuri. I'm coming. What happened? The light is not working. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yay! Thank you. Yuri. Yuri. <gasps> Martin. Huh? Can you help me? Yes. Thank you. Daddy! Whew. Daddy. <gasps> Nasha? What happened, Nasha? The TV doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Claudia? Can you help me open this bottle, please? Of course. Ho ho! Thank you. Yuri! Alla? What happened? My stomach is hurting. Okay, okay. Wait. Please. Thank you. Yuri! Martin? Can you play with me, please? Okay. Daddy! Daddy! Huh? Nasha? One minute. Yes? What happened? We're hungry. We want to eat. Can you order something for us, please? One moment. He was 
helping us too much, so he got very tired. We have to help him. So, what can we do? Oh, no! <laughs> hmm, let's clean up the house. This is you! Cool. My daddy! Wow. Yuri, Yuri, this, this is, is you! Cool. It's for you! Oh, thank you! Wow, cool! And wow, so cute! Hmm. Always help your parents! Next video! Hey guys! What? Have you done your homework? No! Hey guys, what are you doing? You have to do your homework. Oh, oh we, we don't, don't want to. It is very difficult to study. Cooking is easier. We will open a restaurant. And earn a lot of money. It's easy. Hmm, okay, cook me something. And I'll pay you. Okay, okay no, no problem. problem. It's not tasty, guys. I will not pay for this. Mm -hmm. To cook well, you need to learn this. Come on, I will show you. We need to wash our hands. This is important. The process of making pasta is long and not easy. First, you have to knead the dough, and then you have to prepare the cheese filling. Be sure to cut the vegetables under adult supervision. Don't forget to add herbs and spices for flavor. Mix thoroughly. Be sure to turn on the stove with adult supervision. You will need butter and cream to make the sauce. Watch them carefully and stir constantly. <laughs> the dough is rolled out in a special machine. Place the filling. <laughs> With the help of the machine, we get fettuccine from the dough.
Now we have to mix the prepared fettuccine with the sauce. Ta-da! So yummy. That was not easy. So yummy, but it's not easy. Everything needs to be learned. We choose to study. Cooking can be your hobby. Yay! Next video. <gasps> wow! Stop. Uh -huh. Need to check out. Let's check how smart you are. Not smart enough. Oh! I choose to learn Spanish. Quaranta, cinquenta, sesenta, setenta, ochenta, noventa, cien. It's time for Chinese songs. Ia, aya, sanya, suya, ua, liua, chi, ba, kiawa, sua, si, sa, san, liu, chi, ai, pang, yo. Now I'm very clever. No, no, no. Need a little more. Okay, wait here. I'm reading books to be smart. I read all these books. Now, I'm very smart. Wow, you are very smart. Okay. Mm, maybe. Mm. Oh. Huh? I am very creative. <gasps> oh, you're so creative! first.
Sorry. You're a good helper. Oh, <laughs> 
Excuse me, is this soup meat? Yes. What kind of meat is this? This is pork. Sorry, but Muslims don't eat pork. Sorry, I didn't know about it. Let's go to my house for dinner. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. Welcome to the Middle East. It's ready. We have a bread. Beef and hummus. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. Alla, what happened? In India, we don't eat beef. Sorry. Mm. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay, guys. Now, let's go to my house. Okay. okay. Welcome to my house. <gasps> Traditional food is chicken curry. Enjoy. <laughs> Guys, what happened? It's so spicy. It's really tasty, but really spicy. It's so hot. Yeah, we love spicy food. <sighs> Guys, maybe we should go to my house? Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go. Welcome to my home. Wow. Come in and have a seat, please. Wow. <laughs> no, in Japan, they sit like this at the dinner table. What is this? Where are the forks? Huh? These are chopsticks. In Japan, we use chopsticks instead of forks. <laughs> I'm gonna surprise you guys with my Japanese food. You ready? Enjoy, guys! <gasps> what is this? Yeah, me too. What's wrong? This is Japan's national food. Hmm? No, thanks. You're sure? Yes. Sorry, we don't eat this food. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you don't eat this food. Don't worry. Oh, guys, would you like some tea? Yes, please. Each other and we all respect each other's traditions no matter what. Next video! Daddy! Huh? Let's draw together! Oh! Mm hmm. What are we going to draw? A cat! Okay! Me too. <gasps> so beautiful. Let's draw something else. Oh, let's 
draw flowers. <laughs> I finished! Wow. Hmm. Let's try something else! Okay! Hmm. A tree! One, two, three! Wow! You draw so beautiful! And mine is terrible! No, your drawings are not terrible! This is very unique! I will take you to a famous artist, and he will tell you more <gasps> about drawings! Yeah! Hi, I'm Romero Brito. I'm the founder of the Happy Art Movement. And today we are here at the Art Palace, so happy in Miami, to receive Nasia, which is, like, right here. Yay! One, two, three, three go! go! You won! I'm the yeah, winner. you won. You go. And we're going to keep walking, and we're going to see your favorite animal. Come on. Here you are! What do you think? I like cats! Which is your favorite? Well, my favorite one here actually happened to be a cat, and the other one is a dog. You know, the one right next to you. You got it. Here! Hello! So Nastya, we're going to be doing something together. Hold these. You're going to be doing a little line. Wow, amazing! You did a beautiful line, so... You have a cat! What do you think? Art is, you know, so much larger than just a painting or a canvas or a sculpture that I want to, I'm going to show you how to do one and then you can start building. Let me line up all the colors and I'll do another one here. Yeah, perfect. You see? We did it together. Here we go. I'm going to start with you, and then you continue. Sound good? So you go like, keep it going now, go by yourself. Nastya and Brito. Good job, Nastya! Amazing! Here we go again! Oh! I'm gonna do a little coronation. Kind of. You know what I mean? So, come on over here! Party, party! Disco, disco! Chicken bunny! So, for everyone, for your friends, for the kids out there, what I want to say to you is that whatever drawing you do, you have to treasure it. Because anything that you do is an expression of yourself, of the time as a kid that you are, and everything you know is like art. It could be just one line, it could be one letter, it could be one dot. It's art. So one day when you grow up and you see all this art you've done, I mean, it's amazing, right? 
Believe in yourself. Believe, Believe in yourself. yourself. Believe in yourself. Let's, Let's make a slime. Make a volcano. Oh, this doesn't work. La 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 la. Huh? What happened? I will never become a scientist. You'll be a good scientist. You just need to learn a few rules. Rule number one. Always follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yay! We need a glass of water, a dye, sunflower oil, and an effervescent tablet like soluble vitamin C. Add dye to the water to bring it to the color you want. You can experiment with different color. Take another glass or bottle and fill it halfway with oil. Gradually pour the prepared colored water into oil. And watch how it settles on the bottom. This happens because water is heavier than oil. And that is why they do not mix. Lastly, throw in an effervescent tablet and watch the gas they make from it, which raises water bubbles in a lava show. Yay! It's working! Uh-huh. Rule number two. Learn physics. See what is inside. Look, this is magic. For this experiment, you will need a transparent container, Orbeez ball, water, and a toy which you will hide inside. Wow! Prepare a container, put a toy in it, and fill it with ready-grown Orbeez balls so that the toy can't be seen. Wow! Then pour water there and you will see your toy inside. This is because the balls are 95% water. Show this trick to your friends and family. Okay. Hmm. For this experiment, fill a plastic bag with water and tie it, then pierce the bag through with sharp pencils and see that the water does not flow out of it at all. Can I try? Yes. This is because the bag is very elastic. As we pierce the bag, a small hole develops and the bag stretches tightly, fitting the pencil and preventing water from flowing out. Cool. Rule number three. Be creative, give ideas. Yeah. Ready? Yeah! Wow! Magic! <laughs> Can you teach me? Yeah! Take napkins, felt pink pens, and a plate with a small amount of water. Outline the picture on the top layer of the napkin and paint the bottom layer with the desired colours. Then, dip the drawing into the water at a magical effect. Wow. Spring Good is job. Hey. A wet napkin will absorb paint from both layers and you'll see your drawing at its finest. Surprise your friends with this trick. Now, rule number four. Learn chemistry, but do not make dangerous experiments unless observed by adults.
Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.